Okay, this is just a fun video to share, like the synchronistic things and timing and abundance and perfect timing that has been happening since I got to Calgary. Okay, there's probably about one, two, three, four, five that come to mind right away. So I'll start with those five and maybe that'll be it. But more might come to my mind as I go. So the first one was just happened right now, which inspired me to make this video, which is like, I actually live right across the street from a cafe and I was sitting here just writing, working on stuff. I recorded another video and I was like, Ooh, I can really use a coffee, but then I'm like, no, 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 like I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm in the saving mode and I'm good. So then I'm here and this truck pulls up like some kind of seafood truck but then there's like a guy that comes across and he was like hey and he points at his coffee and he's like hey because this is like my window right here right so I go to the door I'm like hey how's it going hey what's up and he's like do you want me to go get you a coffee and I was like yeah yeah actually I was just thinking about that um he's like how do you want your coffee I'm like I'll take a latte with almond milk <laughs> He goes, gets me a coffee, comes back. I mean, granted, his his partner's friend, they were trying to sell me some seafood in a box, but I didn't buy any. And uh, really, even before anything, he's just like, I feel like I should get you a coffee. I'm like, you definitely should. <laughs> so that I kind of brought into this conversation that Zion and I were having uh, last night about all the things that have been falling into place. Because on Sunday, we went to the zoo and it was kind of at the end of the day, like we got there at like four and the inside stuff closes at 4.45. And if you've ever been to the Calgary Zoo, it's kind of expensive um, to just go for like an hour. Or Technically, we had two. So and then we were considering like getting a membership because then we can go back. But then we also had my stepson with us that he didn't need a membership. So I just felt to like take a moment. Like, you know what, let's just step away from the play, the till and take a moment and talk. So in the time from us finding out the options, feeling out what would be best for us, we go, okay, you know what, let's just do it. It's going to be fun. We're three of us together, um, which doesn't always happen often. We're in Calgary now. And so we took a bit of time. And then in that time, the clock went past four and they said oh well now you can only buy memberships and you can't buy general admissions so then we were like you know what okay well what do we do and he's like you know what since you're buying them two memberships for zion and i um my son who's 12 um you know what i'll give you the other admission for free for my stepson who's 24 and so boom free admission just because of that just ticking over the clock. So we save like $30 right there. Plus now we have these memberships for the year. Then we go there and it's perfect. It was like 23 outside. We're in the fall leaves. We got to see the baby gorilla. We got to see like these lemurs have a fight. We got to hear the lion roar. Like our timing was perfect. Plus just the um, experience of the three of us together in this perfect day we got in time to see the those things indoor the penguins you know but really more than that it was just perfect and if I would have stayed in my lack like because sometimes I fall into the lack mentality like I don't have enough or it's expensive and I was having this conversation with I on my son too the other day because I was saying I need to stop saying that things are expensive and just saying, oh, that's affordable. Oh, that's a good deal. And we were in the grocery store. So this is the next story. We were in the grocery store when I was having this conversation with him because we spend time together uh, getting groceries and we we chat and we hang out, you know. And uh, I said that. And then right after I said that, two of the things, the next two things that we needed were on sale. And he was like, oh my God, like, it worked. You know, he, he was like, it worked. And then we've just been finding sales. And then like, I needed a bunch of salary for juicing. There was a bunch 50% off, you know, and then that's been flowing and him and I were talking about it and then remembering more things. 
So this is in a sense, a rampage to just keep it going. Um, I moved into this condo a couple of weeks ago and there's actually no lights. Like there's no lights on the living room or the dining room or this office. I don't really need it here, but I needed lamps, right? I've been looking at lamps and I went to Ikea the other day, but trying to find like the best lamps for the best price, you know, and just kind of trusting. And then I, I tried to get a couple on Facebook marketplace, didn't work out. Then I came home the other night and I was like, oh, I'm going to, I got to get lamps tonight. And I went on and there was like five lamps from Ikea for $70, which is like, I really wanted the Ikea ones, but like one was going to be 70 or actually the ones I wanted were like 130. And then I got the lamps. Like I just told her I can pick it up now. I went, picked them up, great condition. So now I have like one there. I have the same type here. I have one for my bedroom. I have another standing up for the living room. And then I like, I got five lamps. <laughs> so that was perfect timing. Um, what else is on my list here? Oh, and then it's not really and then because these were all happening simultaneously at different times. Of what I'm not telling this in chronological order. Um, but then I, uh, as you know, I've been promoting the hypnosis training and there was a few seats left and I knew that there were some people that could want these spots. And plus I'm new to Calgary. So I, I went on to meet up, found a couple of networking groups, and then I signed up for one. And um, I ended up in this networking group uh, last week where I don't know, some sort of magic happened, but I actually thought it was going to be for Calgary, but it ended up being for Canada and the States. And like I said, some sort of magic happened because I, it was an awesome group and I, but I, we were broken into zoom rooms of groups of four. And so both times that I was in the zoom room, uh, after we came back to the main group, someone from our group gave me a shout out so much so that the second time that someone gave me a shout out, uh, the woman that gave me the first shout out messaged in the chat saying, oh my God, like Hypno Heather must be awesome because she got two shout outs and I don't know what I did. Honestly, I was just, I was just like enjoying meeting people and I did uh, introduce myself in that case as hypno Heather and as the hypnotist because I had these seats in my training and so I did share the group was really good because they had a round to kind of have a fun discussion and then they had a round to share your your work so then because I got the second shout out I got to go on to the main group and talk about the training and then I had someone sign up for the training from that group <laughs> so these are all things that I think deserve special attention when they happen in our lives, because when we give attention to it and we let ourselves like, even if it doesn't seem big, um, put a focus on the magic, it does help us to, uh, well, it helps me anyway, to be less in my lack and less in my thinking and less in some sort of um, like a victimized story of their not being enough or like of us having to to worry but then it creates a mindset that like creates lack because I was kind of walking around being like oh I can't afford anything instead of like shifting that and also being open to things being different things coming in uh perfectly and if you know me and for those of you who don't this is my mantra, right? Everything is always working out for me. And, and Heather Keys really believes that every moment is perfect. Like everything that is happening is perfect, even when it's difficult, even when, you know, I still had to go through the kind of sorting and sifting and seeing what was available for the lamps or what we could do. But it's more in the trusting of, of letting things come to us and abundance come to us, but also the being willing to change the way we're talking about things and change the way that we're, we're expressing things. Like, I think it was really valuable to say, oh, I got to stop saying everything's expensive because this is, uh, you know, 
this is just going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy where if I keep saying, or like, I know other, I've been hearing people say, oh, I'm getting sick or I'm going to get sick or, you know, having so much focus on getting sick, like these things just become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I love, 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 love my son, uh, you know, being there and witnessing that and teaching him that because I also don't want him to pick up my bad habits of saying stuff like that. Right. And so um, he'll, I'm going to bring him on one day and do a video. Cause I think you guys will love to meet him and his mind. Oh, his mind's beautiful. Um, so yeah, I, I hope maybe that inspires you or maybe even just reminds you of like the possibilities and the potential and like the way that life can, can keep supporting us and life can keep on, um, showing us little little or big right examples of abundance that stuff can come out of nowhere discounts and free stuff like my coffee today from this man thank you very much so lots of love for now if you want to chill with me more and get into some of these discussions i'm gonna do a monday or not a Monday, a money and financial abundance is the theme of the free community session this Thursday, October 22nd. And uh, that will be available to the text messaging community, which I'll put uh, how to join in the comments, because we're going to get into this more like I'm in the flow. I want to share with you guys, like, let's really uh, create a fertile mind mental space for financial abundance and let's get rid of those greatest hits that we just have on repeat in our head that just actually kind of stop the flow from coming in so join me thanks for being here hit a like or subscribe or share this with someone you think would love it and ciao for now